So you were an international baccalaureate. Oh, I saw you. I, I see that you saw the uh, high school graduation photo that somehow made its way onto Reddit yesterday. Chat told me about it, but I, I thought it was just like one of the ones I posted a while ago. I don't know who the fuck found this. Because I don't even have this photo. My parents don't even have this photo. This is one of those that I thought would absolutely be lost to time. And should be. But yeah, this was me and Matt back in high school. I don't know where you dug this up. Fucking whose grave you exhumed to find this. Must be Nardwar on the case. But yeah, this is uh... a... <laughs> this is why there's not a whole lot of photos of me from this time. Look at me. <laughs> I look so sad. That's, I didn't know how to pose for pictures or anything, so typically what I'd just do is I'd like mean mug it or just look like I got the worst news ever about my dog passing away or something. So any photo that exists of me from that period has pretty much that same thousand yard stare type shit. That's peak Hunger Games era picture right there. Yeah, it's important to remember, only a year after this photo was taken, I made my debut in the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. What a glow up. Change cinema forever. I know. It wasn't easy, but someone had to do it. Was this before or after your mysterious anime arc? This was right before my mysterious anime arc. I went from this to the cringe anime character walking around campus that people probably was concerned about. I have no doubt there were people in my freshman orientation class that probably thought I was a school shooter in the making. No doubt in my mind. The anime character arc was a complete failure from top to bottom. But that's college. Sometimes you gotta experiment. Try it again. It probably works now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can try my mysterious anime character phase again and see how that shit goes. What was your yearbook quote? I bet it was a bad joke. Oh, my yearbook quote was just whatever I could find on Google at the time. I think it was... I'm almost positive my yearbook quote was... We build too many walls and not enough bridges. Whoever found it probably just looked looked up your graduating class and found your classmates' photos. I found plenty of photos of you through Ancestry.com. You look really goofy in them. What? Why would Ancestry.com have those photos? We gotta stop worrying about <laughs> fucking TikTok and start putting our sites on Ancestry.com. How would they have that? Huh? And why are you on Ancestry.com looking at my lineage? Holy shit, Charlie, I went to an IB school too. Yeah, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I've said this from the start. My high school was significantly harder than college. College was so easy compared to high school. Like, academic, academically. The fuck was your major? My major was exercise, physiology... Or, sorry. Human science is the degree, but the concentration was exercise, physiology... I have Ancestry for personal use and got curious, so looked up and found your photos and public records and yearbooks. <laughs> what? How would it have that? I've never used Ancestry.com for anything. How would they have any of that? You did use it years ago. No, didn't I do 23andMe? I'm pretty sure I used 23andMe, not Ancestry. Dude found your DNA from the trash. Oh, imagine. <laughs> he grabs, like... A half-eaten firehouse sub for me and starts running the data on it. Submits it to Ancestry. Ancestry owns yearbook companies. It wouldn't... W I, don't, I don't know if you're making a joke or not, but it wouldn't work for this because this school was so fucking small that there's no way. Ancestry wouldn't even know that this school existed. Our graduating class was 32 people. The only way they'd find that yearbook is that they pried it from one of, the, one of our hands. If you have family who have used Ancestry and have uploaded images and listed as a family member, that's enough for you to turn up on the searches. But I don't. <laughs> Actually, when I did the 23andMe, I had the kid at my house, and my dad came over, and he was like, Charles, what is this? And I was like, it, it's a it's a, it's a 23andMe kit. They, like, run your DNA and shit to see where you come from. And he's like, are you, su are you stupid? And he started lecturing me about why it's a dangerous idea to be giving the government that kind of information. And I was like, Dad, it's okay. They've already got it. Check your phone. They've already got all our shit. <laughs> so no, I, I I know my family has not used Ancestry.com. It is true. No, I know he's right. I know he was absolutely right. <laughs> so this is... Okay. Well, that's, that's definitely real. Uh, I can't pull it up on stream because 
Obviously, none of its, uh, none of the other classmates are blocked out. But wow, this actually looks like a cult. So I don't know how Ancestry.com has this, but they're they're on some crazy shit. They got some they got some sources down there. But that's me. It's like a photo of Sasquatch. God, now it's gone eight bit. <laughs> But yeah, pretty much the same pose. Terrible posture, frowning, sad, miserable. Looks like a random dude from Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I found a photo of you from 2010. Tweeted at me. Where are you guys finding these photos? What are you doing? Are you guys robbing my parents' house right now or something? Ripping photos off the walls? What do you mean you have a photo of me from 2010? You look like you were a preacher's kid that was super repressed. It's so specific. What do you mean? I was, I, I was just sad. I was just a fucking loser. I was a reclusive loser. What do you want from me? Look how far we've come. Not in terms of height, but I don't look that sad anymore most of the time. They also have your dick pics. Like I said, I've only ever taken one dick pic in my life. It was in 20... Would have been 2016. And I sent it to my girlfriend at the time, and I was so ashamed. I took it from, I took it lying down from my knees, looking up and cock out, and <laughs> it looked terrible. It, it was the worst possible angle. It was like a, the world's worst kaiju. Like a chewed piece of bubblegum. I hated it. Fucking hated it. So I never took another one, and I will never take another one. Were you chubbed? Yeah. But it was even worse, though, because I was looking down at the phone. So I was, like, peeking over my boner, and it was just so creepy. It was so weird. It was like a Max Headroom moment. It was so odd. If that photo ever sees the light of day, I wouldn't even be mad, actually. <laughs> actually, I don't even think I could be mad if that somehow ever surfaced. It's probably the worst dick pic ever taken. What was her response? Oh, I didn't send it. No, 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 I felt so much shame just taking it. I never sent it. She would have broke up with me if I sent that. It's not, it's not like it was the first time she'd seen my cock, but she'd never seen it from that angle. She would have rethought everything. No, I didn't send it. Oh my god! Wait, who are you? Wait, who... How do you guys have these photos? Who are you? Who are these people? What? Where did you find this? I don't even know what this is. Where am I? Jesus, am I at Bohemian Grove? What is this? This isn't even prom or graduation. Who are, who are you? Mom's Facebook page? No, my parents don't have anything like that. It's deep faked. It's definitely not, because I am positive this is me. I still have that tie. <laughs> I don't understand where this is coming from. But yeah, look at striking that same sad-ass pose. Lighting a candle. Maybe I'm at a funeral. It's your dad in the chat. Yeah, hey, bud. Check this one out. That looks like something church-esque. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like when they sing Silent Night at church and they give you the candles to light. Then you, like, drink wine and eat a cookie. But I don't... <sighs> Who would have a picture of me from church? You know what I think it is? I actually think this is homecoming. <laughs> I don't know what we were lighting candles for. Maybe like a Viking burial? I don't know. But I think it's homecoming. I feel like I would have worn this for homecoming. The CIA took these. Yeah, the NSA. You might be talking to time travelers. Oh yeah, uh, the account John Teeter. Fucking CERN sent him back in time to take photos of me in high school. Oh, hey, wait. This is one of my high school highlights. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where you are finding these. This is uh, me on the court. I was a, I was a menace. <laughs> Wait, this is so fire. I'm pretty sure this is when I did the up and under layup. So I started up, brought it down, and went right around. I'm almost positive. I think it's that same game. How old are you in this pick? Uh, this would have been like sophomore year of high school-ish. But you see, I was balling out. Imagine if you did go to the NBA, you would have had to go on to... You would have had to go up against LeBron and Kobe. And that was the only thing that stopped me. That and that damn collapsed lung. Could have gone pro. Hey, wait! 
Wait, 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 wait. This is this finally some vindication. I told you guys I used to be able to jump pretty high. Where are these photos coming from though? Like, did you talk to my old high school basketball coach? I don't understand where you found these, but yeah. Look. I used to be able to grab rim, and that was when I was still like 5253. Five, I used to be able to jump really fucking high. This is me. Well, it doesn't have my full extension here, but I, I used to be able to jump high as fuck. I had a really good vertical. No, they lowered it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they brought it down for the game. It was, it was the make-a-wish. Charlie wants to play on six feet hoops for this one. 20 centimeters above ground is not super high. No, this is... What are you talking about? Look where my hand is relative to the net here. I used to be able to grab rim back then. And again, I was 5'2 and 5'3 during this period. They edited the chair out. <laughs> I'm going to have to get my vertical back. Fuck you guys. I'm going to start doing plyos again. Do you have any photos from college? Just my old Tinder photos. And I've, I'm pretty sure I pulled them up on stream before. I took the worst Tinder photos ever. It, it was diabolical. I should have never been allowed to do that. But those are the only pictures of me from, like, early college. Then all the later pictures from college were just, like, normal ones. But I used to have mutton chops for a little bit. I had a whole mutton chops era, actually. Fun fact, when I lost my virginity, I had mutton chops at the time. Which, probably worst case scenario, because it convinced me to stay with the mutton chops for far longer than any human being ever should. This is pretty cool. This is when I dislocated my pinky after a game of pickup basketball. But you can really see the mutton chops in all their glory. Girl fucked Abe Lincoln. <laughs> yeah. My pinky actually never fully recovered from that, by the way. I still can't fully extend it. I didn't get help in time, so it ended up kind of fusing all cattywampus. But the mutton chops, you know, they, they weren't bad. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, the mutton chops truly weren't the worst thing in the world. <laughs> oh, God. This is... It's always... It's important to remember where you came from. This was around the same time. This was my Tinder profile pic for a while. But those mutton chops, baby, they were there to stay. Wolverine. There, here. This was right when I started losing... Well, actually, this is actually kind of deep into my weight loss. I used to be much more meatball-esque. I had the body of a bowling ball. Those eyes pierce my soul. Yeah, it's pretty sad. I'm giving a thumbs up, but my soul on the inside is giving a big thumbs down. I told you, you won't find a picture of me smiling from back then. It was impossible. Is this before time skip? <laughs> yeah, this was uh, pre-time skip. <laughs> How old were you? Here I would be about 15. This would have been around 15 or 16. 